Good day, kids. How are you today? Welcome to English Three Virtual Cast. Today we are going to talk about Quarter One, Module Nine, Reading and Writing Short Vowel Sounds and CVC Patterns. I am Harlot Jane A. Flores, your English teacher for today. But before we begin, I want you to get your English 3, Quarter 1, Module 9, together with your pen and your notebook. It is better for learning and remembering when you write down important details of our lesson. After going through this module, you are expected to produce or sound out correctly vowel sounds and CVC pattern. Read CVC words with short A, E, I, O, U vowel sounds. Write CVC words with short A, E, I, O, U vowel sounds. And write a sentence using words that have short vowel sounds in CVC pattern. What I know. Let us check how far you have learned about words with short e, e, a, o, and u sound. Box the word with short e. Underline word with short e. In circle word with short a. Triangulate word with short o. And double underline word with short u sound in each number. Do this on a separate sheet of paper. And these are the following words. For number one. Men. Sin. Top. Number two. Fat. Sit, net. Number three. Thin, jet, bud. Number four. Sun, mud, bed. Number five. Yum, hum, ten. Well done! What's in? Match the word in column A with the pictures in column B. Do this on a separate sheet of paper. These are the words in column A. Number 1. Net Number 2. Pun Number 3. Sit Number 4. Dog Number 5. Sun Now, try to observe the given pictures in column B. Then, try to match the words in column A to its corresponding pictures in column B. Amazing! Great job! What's new? Let us read the poem orally. My pet, the cat by Mark Phil L. Tagsit. My name is Matt. I have a cat whose name is Pat. Pat sits on the mat and sleeps with me on the cot. Pat and I are good friends. We love to run in the farm. In the farm, he sees a rat. He runs over it and never comes home. I am now alone with no pot to sit and sleep on the cot. How do you find the poem? Right now, let us proceed to comprehension questions. Answer the following questions. Number one, who has a cat? Number two, what did they do in the farm? Number three, if you were Matt, what would you do to find Pat? 
spectacular. Let us read another poem and answer the questions that follow. My Pet Yet by Junrei C. Kolas. I always get wet every time I play with my pet. My pet is a fish and I name her Yet. It swims like a jet and I would bet that yet could defeat every fish she would meet. Yet is the best pet that every kid can get. I love her a lot. She is my best friend pet. Moving on to comprehension question. Read the questions carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. What is his pet name? A. Yet B. Bet C. Set D. Net Number 2. How fast can she swim? A. Like a van B. Like a car C. Like a jet D. Like a net Number 3 What is his pet? Is it A. Fish B. Dog C. Cat D. Pig Why does he always get wet? A. Because he plays with his pet B. Because he plays with his playmate C. Because he plays with his toys. D. Because he plays with his friends. Number 5. How do you take care of your pet? A. Give them food and water. B. Give them toys to play. C. Give them friends to play. A letter D. Give them water to drink. Great job! You're doing well. Let us read the paragraph and answer the questions that follow. A big pin. Linda has one pin. The pin is big. Linda puts the pin in her bag. She will give the pin to her kin. Moving on to comprehension questions. Answer the following question. Number 1. Who has a pin? Number 2. Where does Linda put the pin? Number 3. To whom will she give the pin? And number 4. How does she describe the pin? Well done! Read the poem below and answer the questions that follow. A Log in the Bog in the Fog by Anne Hermosa There is a log in the bog, a log in the bog in the fog. Along comes Tom with his pretty mom. They sit on the log in the bog. On the log, in the bog, in the fog. And here comes a dog with a very big hog. They sit on the log, in the bog. On the log, in the bog, in the fog. Oh my God, says John. On that log, there is a hog. I won't sit on that log, in the bog. On that log, in the bog, in the fog. Where is the log? Where is the log, in the bog, in the fog? What log, my dear? There is nothing there. Comprehension question. Read the questions carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper.
Number one. What is in the brook? Is it A. Fog? B. Log? C. Brook? Number two. Who comes with dog? Is it A. Pretty Mom? B. Bog? C. Log? Number three. Where do they sit? A. Log? B. Bog? C. Cot? Number four. What animal comes after Tom? A. Cat? B. Dog? C. Rat? Number 5. What happens to the log? Is it A. Carried by the bog? B. Taken by Tom? Or letter C. Kept by her mom? Amazing! Let us read the story orally. Top the Book by Junray C. Kulat. There was one about named Pog. Pog liked to run and jump. One day, Pog got stuck in the mud. Pog yelled for help. Another bug named Dog came to help. He pulled Pog out of the mud. Pog and Dog played under the sun. Pog and Dog became best buds. Moving on to comprehension questions. Read and answer the following questions. Question number one. Who got stuck in the mud? Number two. What did Pog like to do? Number three. How did Dog help Pog? And number four. Why did they became Best Buy. What is it? Read the underlying words in the poem and story. Here are some CVC words with short vowel sounds. In A sound, we have but, but, ham, pun, jar. Has, sat. In a sound, we have bed, web, yet, let, peg, net, vet. Moving on to E sound, we have big, lid, pig, his, pin, pit. Lit. In all sound, we have sun, jog, not, rot, hog, sob, got. Last, the oo sound. We have sun, run, rug, mom, hog, cut. Cup. Fantastic! What's more? Activity A. Color the word. Color the box according to its short vowel sound. Red is for A. Uh. Yellow is for E. Uh. Blue is for E. Uh. Orange is for O, and green is for U. Do it on a separate sheet of paper. Do it now. These are the following words. We have net, bed, mop, hop, scene, red, man, hen. Ten, hum, wed, yum, rug, bed, tug, leg, set, 
मत सेट तीन विन फेड फैग सन मैन नन नेट बैग कंग्रेचुलेशन वेल डन Let us proceed to activity B. Complete me. Fill in the blank with a proper eight word. Choose your answer from the box below. These are the following words in the box. We have bug, bag, win, ton, hub, hub. Number one, the athlete. Want to block the game? Number two. My mom gives me a block every morning. Number three. The old man on the street blocks for food and water. Number four. Your block is a good boy, said the teacher. And last number, number five. Father bought me a new block yesterday. Moving on to activity C. Make a sentence. Write a simple sentence using the following words with short vowel sounds. Write it in a separate sheet of paper. Number one, top. Try to use it in the sentence. Number two, hub. Try to use it in the sentence. Number three, man. Try to use the word man in the sentence. Number four, bin. Use the word bin in the sentence. Last number, number five, pan. Try to make and construct it in the sentence. Excellent! Let us actively engage in activity B. Read me more. Read each phrase and encircle the word with short vowel sound. Do this in a separate sheet of paper. Number one, water in the tub. Number two, hug your dad. Number three, men in uniform. Number four, pin in the sash. Number five, cook in the pan. Number six, love in the river. Number seven, hug in the mud. Number eight, cup in the hand. Number nine, vet in the clinic. Number ten, bug in the lift. Spectacular! You're doing great. Right now, let us try to check as to how much you have learned. In our topic today, complete the paragraph. In this lesson, I learned that examples of CVC words that have short vowel sounds are what I can do. Let us see what you can do. Make a sentence for each of the CVC words with short vowel sounds. Observe the correct punctuation and capitalization of words. Do it now! Let's start with number one. Dog. Try to use the word dog in the sentence. Number two, cat. Try to use the word cat in the sentence. 
Number 3. Mud Use the word mud in the sentence. Number 4. Set Use the word set in the sentence. Number 5. Hit Try to use the word hit in the sentence. Exemplary! Let us proceed to assessment. Write the correct word to complete the sentence. Choose your answer inside the parenthesis. Do this in a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. Exercise your block every morning. The words inside the parenthesis are legs, bed, lid. Number two, the cat sleeps on the blank. The word inside the parenthesis are mat, lug, bug. Number three, the baby wears a blank. The words inside the parenthesis are bib, pin, bag. Number four, the blank barks at the stranger. The words inside the parenthesis are dog, pig, cat. Number five, he rides on a blank. The words inside the parenthesis are bag, bus, this. Spectacular! You're doing well! How about this one? Use each word in a sentence. Do this in a separate sheet of paper. Number one, we have hen. Use the word hen in the sentence. Number two, hat. Use the word hat in the sentence. Number three, buy. Use the word buy in the sentence. Number four, sat. Use the word sat in the sentence. Number five, bin. Use the word bin in the sentence. Amazing! You really amazed me that much. Well done! Let us have this additional activity. Let's see what else have you learned. Copy the sentences in your notebook. Write the correct word to complete the sentence. Choose your answer from the box. These are the following words in the box. We have mop, mop, gem, bug, pin, lug. Number one, you have to see a blank to locate your destination. Number two, he cleans the floor with a blank. Number three, the blank is the leaves of your rose. Number four. The precious blank is expensive. Last number, number five. Ben and Zed are blank. Great job! Spectacular! Let us try this activity. Write a please five simple sentences and underline the short vowel sound you use in each sentence. Example, I have a new bag. The underlined short vowel sound is the word bag. Come on, give it a try. Congratulations! Good job, kids! And that's all for today's lesson. 
See you next time on our next virtual class. Again, I am Teacher Harlot Jane. Thank you so much. Bye for now.